What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to be talking about this 2016 F550 and the repair that I had to make because someone decided to fill the fuel tank with DEF. We're going to take this pump apart. We're going to show you guys what it looks like disassembled but with DEF. All right guys, let's check this out. guys thanks so much for coming back and hanging out with me tonight as we talk about why I had to replace this CP4 high pressure fuel pump well as you guys saw the thumbnail and the intro uh, they put DEF in it why how I just don't get it you can't mix those up but apparently people out there are I did have to replace every high pressure component, the pump, the lines, the injectors, the rails, and I'm going to have to flush the low pressure lines, replace the low pressure pump, replace the fuel cooler, drop and clean the tank, replace the fuel sender, new o-ring, install fresh fuel, flush the lines, replace the fuel filters, and then bleed the system. So if anybody asks why this is so much money, you just don't take the parts out and replace them. There is a very, very special procedure and, well, for me, I mean, everybody else can slap them in, but uh, I have a certain way that I do this to ensure A, fix it right, the first time repair is always achieved because this is not cutting the mustard. So here we are. We have a T25, we have a T30, and what is this one a t40 those are the torx fasteners that we are going to use to disassemble this cp4 high pressure fuel pump i'm going to start with the most infamous part of them all this is the volume control valve this is the component that is going to control the output of said pump and the one key thing we look for is when we pull this out, do we have metal glitter paint? Well, you guys can see we don't have metal glitter paint, but we do not have a solution in there that is conducive for lubrication. You can actually see the two different fluids right here separating inside this bore. Totally disgusting. It smells like you know what looks like you know what you can see it looked just totally flooded in there um, after leaving the pump and the injectors out on the bench um, over the weekend you saw the white crustiness was all over the place so tomorrow the next day when I come in this now that I've removed this and air has been touched this now this is all gonna get all crusty and well it's totally ruined so look, look at that just come out of there. Nasty people, nasty. What, what were you guys doing? On the phone when you were filling your DEF? Come on. All right, we're gonna take these off right here. I've never taken a CP4 pump apart, but I believe there's some springs right in here. Yep, you can see this is trying to raise off on me. Care how this comes apart because we are not using this again but here is the one side of the CP4 get all these fasteners out of here awesome let's get this side I already went and pre loosened these ones so I wouldn't be hammering on them okay got another spring Check it out, kind of looks the same, got two o-rings right here that were stuck to the to the belly side of it, which go right there. So 
with that totally removed, definitely lost some weight right there. These are most definitely adding some weight. So our last one, our T40 fasteners that are on the face of the pump that bolts to the front cover. I'm gonna pull these out. to figure out how this pump is going to pull apart. All right, we're going to pull this little cup out. And I think this might even be the barrel of the piston. I don't know the exact name. I've never taken this apart before, but um, this is part of the component um, that is going to help us generate that 29,000 PSI. This is, this is one of our rollers, and I think we have a problem possibly with this turning in the bore and maybe not rolling like this and start you know as the inside of the pump spinning it's it's making contact like that it wants to be like that so I think maybe we have I've, I've heard of an issue possibly this turning in the bore you can see this is kind of rusted right there that's unusual not supposed to have rust in your fuel system people this one, how does this one come out? How's this one look? Kind of the same. Nasty. Definitely no scoring on it, so I can't say that um, you know we had a metal on metal situation at some point in time because we would definitely see a flat spot or some some um, abnormality. So our our definite causal part is gonna be the DEF contamination through here so what else do we got I think I'm gonna need to pull this little plug out I did loosen it but I don't know what it goes to you guys can tell me that in the comment section or wait because we're all gonna learn right now and see what is in here This probably isn't the right tool to use, but it was what I grabbed. Feels kind of tight, like maybe there might be a spring, maybe? Come on, baby. I don't know if this actually has to come out to disassemble the pump but we're gonna slowly find out here before I turn this back in I wanted to show you guys what this looked like because I think CP4 questions fuel system questions is something I get asked about a lot it comes up very very frequently okay we got a small screen here Shit, smells horrible. I don't get it. That should be, hopefully, bringing us to the to the end. I don't see any other fasteners or any other thing that is holding this together. Does this thing just pull right out? So we're gonna we're gonna try to break this little seal here. I'm assuming. Let's see if I can pop this nose out. I don't uh, have a anywhere to really pry. I guess I could stick my screwdriver down in this hole. I'm gonna stick my screwdriver here and try to pop this out. I don't know if it's just gonna pop out. Have to come out somehow. Okay, do we get a bigger screwdriver? Nope. There's not a workshop manual procedure to disassemble the high pressure fuel pump. Thing's not even budging. I can move it freely, it's spinning. 
How do I get that out? What if I were to put this in the vise? Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can rotate the housing at all. Hell no. <clears throat> Ain't happening. <clears throat> that is in there tight. How is that going to come out? Let's try putting it there. There we go. Knew it. Look at that, boys. Look at those nasty internals of this high pressure fuel pump. First time I have never removed a CP4 pump. Guts. Check it out. So it did have a seal on the inside, so that's, I guess, what I was fighting. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, so we have the oil seal right here. Looks like a double oil seal almost. And then here is our crankshaft, so to speak. So if you guys come back over here to the bench, this part right here is touching. This is what these little cans are rolling on. So when we are running the engine, you guys can see how th this is going to be staying stationary and this is going to be moving, pushing this up in its bore, but this is riding right on here. This is what causes our metal contamination, our CP4 disasters. This material right here is what shears off and causes the metal to metal. If we do not run fuel additives or we continue to run poorly, poorly made fuel, we are going to be in this boat where you're going to have parts in your hand all messed up because of metal contamination. Don't let this be, you guys. I'm glad to have been able to take this apart and show you everything that comes in these high pressure pumps because it is something um, it is something that I get asked about a lot. Um, also, a, a lot about SPE's disaster prevention kit. It's something I want to talk about on my vehicle, possibly get from my vehicle. Uh, I think their idea and concept is awesome. As long as we can, the variable that we can't have control of is fuel. We can do everything that we can to try to prevent this from happening, but at the end of the day, fuel 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 is what we cannot control so thanks so much for watching tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below if you guys have ever had this issue any technicians out there what are you guys doing to repair your high pressure fuel systems are you replacing everything or are you just replacing certain parts everything is the answer thanks so much for watching remember to like comment sub share and i'll catch you guys all next time see you.